All right, you guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Thursday and I actually just got back from holidays. I know that I vlogged some stuff in Kelowna, so I think I might do like a recap and post that vlog before this one, but um, I did just do my little weekly grocery shop and I thought I would share with you guys. I also got a table thing for my closet, so I wanted to organize my closet tonight, wash my hair, and just organize after a holiday. So I thought I would vlog it and bring you guys along. As for groceries, I'm gonna lay them all out and then I will walk you guys through what I bought. Okay, so I have everything laid out. I got some just deli turkey meat, turkey bacon. I'm gonna make wraps and then of course I have this for breakfast almost every day. Cucumber, I got some mushrooms, tomato, red onion, avocados. So I'm gonna be making uh, Greek salad. So I got kind of all the fixings for that. Mushrooms for breakfast and I just love mushrooms. Um, some baby spinach because I want to put those in my breakfast. And then I just like having spinach on hand. I got some romaine lettuce for the wraps. I could even put the spinach in the wraps. You know, we're using all of our ingredients. I got some rice. I know this isn't the best rice for you, but ooh, it's just easy and I'm cooking for myself. So I just like to be easy. Um, I got some smart sweets. These are my favorite little guilty pleasure. I like to have a couple of these in the house. Bagels because I'm also gonna make sandwiches and breakfast and these are my favorite, the everything. Wraps, like I told you guys, I got a salmon because I'm gonna have that for dinner tonight with the Greek salad. I got two yogurts, berries and acai and strawberry. I got a sriracha because I ran out. I literally put this on everything. Two, please don't mind my dishes. Um, <laughs> I got two cans of tuna. I got light cream cheese for the bagels, for the sandwiches, for the wraps, can't go wrong. Feta for the Greek salads. I got some broccoli because I want to roast some broccoli for the salmon. And this is my tripod I was just talking to you guys on. And then I got some soda. And that is all for this week's kind of grocery haul. I literally have no idea what happened under my eye, but it's like a bite or something. And I think it's around, yeah, it's around four o'clock now. So I'm going to put all my groceries away and then I'm gonna vacuum and kind of get the house situated. It's already pretty clean. But I think I'm after that, I'm actually going to have a shower and then organize the closet. Um, I need to wash my hair and take off the spray tan because it just didn't sit well on my skin from the vacation. I didn't really need a spray tan, honestly. Like I didn't, I did nothing but be in the water. So it probably wasn't my wisest. $40 I've ever spent. And I like when I do the self tan myself. So I don't think I'll do that again, but it just looked kind of flaky on my skin. So I'm gonna have a shower, scrub off my tan, and then we're gonna do the closet. So yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys at some point this evening. All right, obviously I'm out of the shower, so please excuse me. But I scrub my tan off and I know this lighting, I need a new light in this closet so bad, it's really dark in here. But I wanna show you guys a couple things that I got on Amazon. Okay, so the first thing is, you know those silk um, scrunchies on Sephora that are like $30 for two? Well, I found a dupe. So these are these little mini um, silk scrunchies and on the wrist, they just look super cute compared to like a massive scrunchie in my opinion. So I got a pack of one, two, three, four, five, six for like $12. So those came in the mail when I was away and I'm very happy about it. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got wine stoppers and sunglasses, which I'll show you guys when I start redoing this closet. So I guess this little Amazon haul wasn't that useful, but look at this makeup bag I got when I was on the island. It's like backwards, but <laughs> me in a makeup bag. And so this, I'll show you guys, is the table that I bought, so I need to take the tags off of it and I'm thinking of using it as a center island piece in the closet where I can put like a cute candle. Um, I don't know, I'll style it up. And then I was thinking it'd be nice to have for like hanging your clothes, like say when you're organizing, or it kind of gives me the feel of a big closet with the island separating the two, but I don't know if it's gonna end up just being annoying walking from the closet into the bathroom. So that's what I'm gonna be doing this evening is styling that, 
putting away some clothes and just getting rid of some stuff that I feel like I'm just not using and then of course transitioning all of my summer clothes into fall which I know if I even check the weather it's like I don't even want to know what it looks like yeah it's gonna be like mid 20s all the way till next week or like 22 23 so definitely still warm but compared to like the 30 degree weather we've been having it's a little bit of a cooler weather so that's nice but it's yeah it's 4 30 so i'm gonna just kind of start putting this all together and then i think i'm gonna make dinner and then once i'm done dinner kind of finish this off and start something on netflix or something and just have a relaxing night so yeah i'm gonna get started here and then I'll show you guys the progress that I make. All right, here are these sunglasses that I got from Amazon. I thought they were fun. I think these were like $20 maybe. And that's my little sunglass area. I'm just gonna turn this off. Just watching the vlog. Oh. And so this whole thing was short-lived because I've decided I hate having something in the middle here just because the space is just honestly not big enough so I want to organize all of this which is a mess and then I need to get rid of these and do something nicer here so I'm thinking once I get rid of this makeup vanity which is just I don't know I'm gonna get a dresser I feel like and then that will because right now like this is messy everything's just messy and then I put this here Minus, I'm not going to need these fans for much longer, hopefully. Um, and I think this just looks nice, except all these cords really bother me. But I think that this table looks nice for that space. I don't know if that mirror will stay there. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. So that was a quick shift to what I wanted that table for. But I have to take off that little weird shopping tape still. But yeah, I think maybe eventually a TV might go there. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now. So the next thing that I want to do is I bought this hidden crown online. So this is kind of what it comes with. This obviously is not even remotely cheap. I'm just gonna turn that stupid vlog off again, sorry. And okay, so this is everything it comes with. This was the packaging, so just a little purple thing and then hidden crown and it comes with a comb and then these are the hair pieces that I guess you would maybe like color match with your hair or something which I think the color itself is a really good color to my hair so I'm kind of happy with that but I got the 20 inch and I'm just hoping that it's thick enough for my hair so here's all the instructions and then it comes with Obviously the hair, which again doesn't feel thick to me, but I don't really know what I'm supposed to be looking for. So that's that. And then it comes with this nice little hanging thing and a little hanger, which is nice to store them in because I didn't have that for my last ones. And then some pliers. So I think it's nicely saying if I take it out of this packaging, I can't return it. And this was super expensive, so I'm a little bit nervous to take it out of the packaging so and of course I have decided to do this when my hair is soaking wet so I think I'm going to let my hair dry a little bit and then kind of put this I don't know around my hair and make sure the color works and if it does then I think I might just try this out and hope for the best I like the idea of the halo because there's no clips and I had clip-ins I, I, yeah I think I had them when I had this channel and it's just way too much work way too heavy my hair like my head weighed like 400 pounds so I hope the halo works and I definitely want to try this out sooner than later because I only have seven days to return it if it doesn't work I hate returning stuff so I really hope that it does work um so I'm gonna keep that on my bed and hope that my hair dries soon because it is like a thousand degrees in here um and yeah I'm just gonna clean this off now and I think make some dinner Alright 
update you guys and this is what I'm going to have I put some in this wine glass this strawberry lemonade kombucha with my dinner and I'll show you guys once it's done dinner is served I got some YouTube I'm catching up on dinner kombucha dog bon appetit all right so I finished dinner and my hair is kind of dry so I'm gonna take this hair sample and try it on my hair and hope and pray for the best because I really want this to work so let's see oh my god it's literally the same color okay now not worried about the color I'm now worried about oh, Fine. Okay. I'm worried about how this whole thing works. So, take it out of the package. This is what the halo looks like. So, there is quite a bit of hair. So, I have to take it out of the zap strap or something. Oh not even focused. I'm gonna do it here. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. You guys, if this works, I'm gonna be so excited. And also don't wanna think about how much money I've spent on fake hair in the past. Okay, so here's the halo. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna take these security tags off. And I'll be right back. Okay, here is the halo. And it's like that. So I'm supposed to put this on like the crown of my head. I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna do this and adjust this halo and watch the video. And then I'll be right back. Wish me luck. So I've decided, oh, I have decided two things. One thing is I need to get my hair cut because it hasn't been cut in a long time. Second thing is, is I need to get the extensions like cut and blended to like match my hair. They can't just be like one length, obviously. So I need to make an appointment to get my hair cut and put this freaking halo thing in and I need to make it work because I don't even want to see how expensive it was, but yeah. I'm going to clean this mess up. Maybe grab my computer and make a hair appointment. I don't know why my oven is still going crazy, but I think now I'm honestly just gonna crawl into bed. It's like, I don't know what time it is, let me check. It's 6.15. <laughs> yeah. It's like 6.15, I think I'm going to maybe cut up some fruit, make a little dessert, and then I'm gonna crawl into bed and figure out some sort of a Netflix show, and maybe start editing this vlog. And br I think I'm gonna bring this vlog into tomorrow's because I don't think I have enough going on here, so I shall talk to you in a little bit. We are in bed. This is the mood. Just took Sadie for a walk. She's ready for nighttime. I have cleaned the house up. As I say that, I didn't even turn the fan off above my oven, but I've cleaned the house as we can see. It looks nice and clean enough for me. And I'm going to turn the blinds down, close the window. I usually like to either keep the blinds fully down all day to keep it cool in here, but it's been fine. And yeah. You okay, know. weird side note. I was just debating if I should have a bath because I love to have a bath before bed but this bubble bath so the Dr. Teal's coconut oil bubble bath if you enjoy taking baths please do yourself a favor and buy that bubble bath it is so good good morning guys it's around 6 30 in the morning and I'm just taking my dog for a walk. I'm literally in my house coat. There's no one outside, so no one's here to judge. 
and yeah it's another beautiful day we've been so lucky with sunshine all the time lately um, so I'm gonna take her for a walk and then I'm going to get myself organized I actually was able to get a haircut for myself at noon um, so I'm gonna start work probably around 7 and then I'll get my haircut on my lunch break but yeah I'm tired I don't even know what time I went to sleep. I was just tossing and turning. But I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. coffee clean the kitchen up a bit and now it is my daily routine to make my bed get my house looking very nice and clean before I go to work and um, I don't know I just like coming home to a clean house and I always make my bed and kind of get that organized so when the day comes to an end I have a nice clean bed um, turn the fans off and yeah so it looks like this right now and I'm gonna fix it all right much better I'm going to I clean the bedding every Saturday or Sunday so I may clean the bedding tonight but now I'm going to add the rest of that water that I had by my bed to my little humidifier and I keep I keep it right at the um, side of my bed and I actually have been loving putting in this oil which is the Amber Woods fragrance oil from Anthropology, and it literally smells so good. So you put the tiniest bit into the diffuser and it honestly really makes your room smell nice. And that's that. Oh, I also want to show you guys my current linen sprays that I've been loving. Um, I got one from Anthropology as well. And let's move this over. So I got this is my one that I've been using all the time, which is the Lothantique Lavender Linen Spray. Obviously, I've used it a lot. I actually get this from this store, and then I also have the sage sweet sheets linen and fabric spray and I don't know what scent this is in but it's very like eucalyptus kind of and then I got this one from anthropology which is days last light lavender cashmere oh my gosh it's so nice so I'm going to spray the pillows spray the bed and then sometimes I honestly spray the couch too because, you know, all fabric things could use a little bit of a zhuzh here and there. So this one was a little bit more expensive. It was $26 and this linen spray was $24 and I think the sage one was probably around the same. But yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys. Alright, I'm now obviously in the parkade and I'm heading to work. I can't wait to get this hair cut because it looks foul. <sighs> this big ass baggy top is from Zara and that's about it. I'm gonna head to work and I guess I will talk to you guys on my way to my haircut. Alright guys, I just got to my hair appointment. I'm about 10 minutes early but um, because of COVID and I need to put my mask on and I think I have to fill out like a form or something. Um, so I am going to head in there now. My hair, obviously, the before is my hair in a nasty bun. Um, and yeah, I brought the hair halo, so I'm gonna hope and pray that they can blend it. And I guess I'll see you guys after. This freaking mask. I put it in the wash, and I feel like it's gone all, like, crinkled. But 
Very cute. Got it from Anthropology. Okay, bye. All right. So I finished at the hair salon a little bit ago, and I looked like a princess with the way she curled it. So I did take it out of my hair and when I get home I'm going to straighten the ends of it and just make it a little bit more beachy um, but the way that the hair blended it looks so much better um, so I'm really happy about that and these are just the little pieces that I left out while my hair is in a bun but I just went to the store and I got a beautiful fresh bouquet of flowers for my kitchen and I'll take this mask off and now I'm going to um, go to HomeSense and see if I can get like a cute cutting charcuterie board um, because my mom is going to come over for some wine tonight and I wanted to do like a little cheese board or something. So I'm about to drive and this camera's gonna fall. So I'll talk to you guys when I get home. All right guys, you're probably thinking, where is your long luscious hair? I'm still learning how to make it work because the way that the hairdresser did it, she made the curls look like I was Elsa from Frozen, and I just didn't feel like that was an everyday look for me. So I tried to brush them out, and then I ended up making these fall so that the other hair didn't blend. So I think what I have to do is rewash my hair, straighten it, put the halo in, curl it all together, rather than like having a curled halo trying to match my hair. So it is a work in progress, but it's now around 6 p.m. Sadie is eating her dinner, and I've cleaned my house. It smells delicious, it looks good. My mom's coming, and I honestly didn't even end up going to get cheese for a charcuterie board. So I think I need to go to the store. I need to get some wine because I bought a wine recently and I tried opening it a couple nights ago and it tasted like soap. So I need to get a new wine get myself all situated but I wanted to close off the vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for the past couple days um, I haven't even started editing this vlog so I have no idea how long it is or you know whatever it's a vlog so if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe thumbs up if you like these vlogs and I'll catch you in my next one bye